Another type of drop back footwork that a quarterback will use when he's in the gun is three step no hitch. And generally when we do this, we want to make it a quick three, not a big long three. In other words, we're not interested in how much depth we gain because we're already in the gun. In some cases, four yards back in the gun. In other cases, five yards back, just depending on what the preference of the offensive coordinator or the head coach is. Okay, So we're still going to do the same type of three-step drop back where as I catch the ball, I'm going to take a step back, preferably at 6 o'clock. I'm going to take a crossover step. Then I'm going to put my back foot down so that I'm in a nice top of the drop stance. So we're still going to do the three-step drop like that. However, we're going to try to do it a little quicker. Because of the time that the ball's in the air, that, that can add to the amount of time it's going to take us to do our three-step drop. So I propose that it's called a quick three drop. In other words, I'm going to take the three quickest steps I can. So if you show this from the, if I show you this from the side, I would catch the ball, and I'm going to go one, two, three, and set up. So in typical fashion, if I was under the center, I'd want to get more depth backwards to get away from the center, and I'd take a bigger first step, but I'd end up in the same position. But to do the quick three, I'd catch the ball, and I'd go as quick as I can to be set up in the top of the drop stance. Once again, that allows me the, the quicker time frames to, to account for the ball being in the air. Some of the details are when you catch the ball, you always want to leave your front shoulder open. And I've explained this in the, the dominant drop and non-dominant drop videos that I've done. Front shoulder's open. I'm going to step behind myself, preferably at 6 o'clock. Although if you see somebody stepping around here at 7, it's really not that big a deal. The really main issue is to keep your front shoulder open so you can see the whole field. So after I take this first step at 6 or 7 o'clock, I do a knee-to-knee -knee crossover. Then I'm going to put my third step down right under my armpit. So when I get to the top of drop of my stance, my feet should be right under my armpits or shoulders. And then I'm in a position to step left, straight ahead, or step right. So in the gun, it's preferable that you do the quick three. Catch the ball, and it's the three quickest you have to get your feet down and be prepared to throw. So let's take a look at some of our athletes doing the quick three, no hitch, drop. Throwing left and throwing right. 